Now, this banking union is certainly, just think about that, the biggest step in, in financial integration in the euro area since the introduction of the common currency in 1999. We haven't done any such step of financial integration since we launched the common currency. And it's not only a big step, it's to me also quite of a logical step. Single monetary policy requires integrated financial markets. Uh, and integrated financial markets include, without any doubt, also a European level banking supervision, because that's what it should be about. So it's not only big, it's also logical. European banking supervision allows banks throughout the entire euro area to be supervised according to the same high standards. They don't have to be German standards. Um, in addition, cross-border effects can be covered much better through joint supervisory teams consisting of members from many countries than it can be done by national supervisors. And the third argument is the most important to me, adding a European perspective to the national views, which you still have, that, that does put more distance between the supervisors and the banks they supervise, it adds a level of neutrality. So out of national interest, national supervisors tend to treat their banks much more softly than they normally should be doing. And having now supervisory teams composed out of many countries gives a degree of neutrality and gives a degree of distance, which can only help this process. Meanwhile, a comprehensive banking union, which I've just I'm describing has to comprise more than just an effective European banking supervision. Supervision is important. The second pillar of the banking union, and Tiff and I, we just talked about it uh, when we met shortly, is a European resolution mechanism, a mechanism which deals with banks should they fail. And you don't want to have a same standard bank supervision across 19 countries. You want to have the same standards also should a bank fail in how to resolve those banks. This mechanism has been decided upon and will be in place by the 1st of January of 2006. The Germans, being ever so diligent, they put it into the law already since the beginning of this year, but uh, across the euro area it will be from the beginning of next year. So if push comes to shove and a bank is no longer viable, it will be the shareholders and the creditors who are first in line to bear the bank's losses and taxpayers' money, which has been used all the time in the past, will only be the very last resort, which is a total change in hierarchy uh, in, uh, in the way um, uh, creditors and shareholders and taxpayers are being called upon than in the past. And this will, and that's the economic argument, realign incentives, and it will make the entire banking system in the euro area more stable.